morning, friends. We are here in beautiful Acamal, Mexico. It's beautiful, 74 degrees outside. We are about to hit up the Yalku Lagoon, which is included, as I said in my previous video, is included in the price of this beautiful Airbnb that we spent the night in. And we'll be checking out at 11 in order to eat lunch and head on over to Tulum. So, follow along. Okay, over there is the restaurant area where you get the one free meal, whether it be a breakfast or a lunch. All right, so we've swam in the lagoon for maybe 30, 40 minutes. They give you the free equipment, like I told you. Um, we just checked out of our Airbnb. Um, one thing I felt to mention is that you do have like a little personal guy that takes care of you while you're here. Um, ours is named Jesus and he has been absolutely wonderful. Um, and there's also one free meal apparently at the restaurant that's here in the lagoon. So we're going to opt to go into Akamal in order to um, eat a later lunch. But keep that in mind if you book with Casa Romero.
All the emails. All right, we just had a fabulous dinner and sorry about this road. It is live here. Where do we eat? Boja. So good. Um, excellent. A excellent. A lady that was staying in one of the condos in Akmal actually suggested it to us. So, and we ran into her, <laughs> Yeah. crazily. I don't know where she went, but she went somewhere. We, um, we went there on her, um, recommendation recommendation we went yeah. on um, her recommendation so it was lovely it was pricier than La Buena was last night because we ate a shit ton of food last night drank a lot of drinks and it was reasonably priced in that regards and this was more think about it as a chilies versus Applebee's all right, so if you do the parking that is actually located within the vicinity of the restaurant, um, it will be included. If you go in between now and the next 16 days, I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> but I also asked while we were there where the bathroom is, and he said just around the corner, blah, blah, blah. He didn't tell me nothing about a ticket, and you had to pay for parking if you did not have a ticket. The guy was very nice and said next time, which we won't be back anytime soon, um, he said next time make sure that we have a ticket. Um, price for dinner was? 1,690 pesos. Okay, so what did, what your girl get? She got chorizo on top of queso. They do not give you tortilla chips for this. This apparently is an American thing. And then, what else did they give us? Um, we had two margaritas, and I had three fish tacos were, that were great, and he had a pork dish that was also great, but really rough for me. I make, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mexico, I know, do the boo sound. I make <laughs> I make better tacos than that. Um, so we're on the road. We're about to head to Tulum, and we are in prayer mode because your boy is fighting the traffic, which is nobody. All right, come over that way anyway. We are headed to our Airbnb, and we will see you guys there unless something comes up that looks magical. If you see the word T-O-P-E, that means your vehicle is going to bottom out if you do not slow the fuck down. If you're in a car, definitely. If you're in a car. Look, the signs look like this. It's a it's tope. Kind of, it's like, it tope. <laughs> tope. It means tope. So, upon first arrival, we were told that we can check in or not so much check in early but we can at least leave our bags it's approximately 3:23. we were supposed to be able to check in at four the place when we walked in is dirty on my beds shit on the counter no we are attempting to find the grocery store because this was our full intention to find a grocery store go in and find breakfast stuff and Snack stuff. Snack stuff. Beverage. Hi. We are killing time by going to the Aki, which is my favorite grocery store ever. Um, I don't think this one will be as grande as... This one doesn't look as spectacular now. It's not spectacular. In fact, I don't honestly want to go to the, this grocery store. I want to go to the other one.
We have killed an hour and two hours. We have killed two hours looking around the grocery store. That was very stressful. Please, another little side note, kids, you have to purchase grocery bags, but the amount we just spent on a case of Corona the is not we... offensive to me. It's offensive to America. The amount we spent on a whole grocery Shit cart ton of stuff, things plus cheese. It was like a hundred and 10, 115 bucks. I can buy toilet paper, paper towels, and gain detergent, and maybe a couple of different things. I can't roll out of Walmart in Mississippi without spending well over a hundred dollars. <laughs> this right here, yeah. we're making a charcuterie. We had breakfast all week. It was less than 100 and that was with beer well the, the a little bit over warning the grocery store is just as hectic as the highways <laughs> it's very tight very a lot of people and they're run over you okay oh and uh, if you shop at the ikea here in tulum we'll if you get um liquor while you're here there's a, a sectioned area you cannot go in with your grocery cart and also you cannot go outside of the store with a grocery cart without your ID. If that shit was done in Greenville, Mississippi, do you know how many angry folks would be here? Also a special side note, I don't know if I said it earlier, did I say it earlier? Yes what? I did, I think, when we we're at the stoplight. The guy washing our windshield. get washed. He, he did it twice. We did, we, got, we almost got it twice. We got a, we got a whole wash and a quarter wash. Found specs on it, and then he said, "Now let me clean it again." He got it, and then he walked away. When I said, <laughs> "No, okay, all right, we're just checking in with y'all because when traffic is ridiculous, two, I'm gonna be pissed if that room's not clean, and three, we have to go up a fucking flight of stairs with grocery bags. I knew something was gonna go amiss, but it kind of is what it is." And there are a lot of stores that sell lights here. Like, just lights. Like a Home Depot style light. Security lights. Security lights. Like, okay, cool. Lights? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're lining, we have a lake. We have a room with a view of the lake. And as I said, when the world gives you lemons, say fuck the lemons and bev. y'all this is where we're staying for security reasons we will leave this um, until Saturday's vlog that is posted we will not unveil what the name of this Airbnb is called if you know you know so here is the pool oh my and we are mm, planning on getting to this because it is so hot and sticky and then, your chairs are sitting. All right. And then it looks like there are some rooms that have little private plunge pools. We have a plunge pool as well, but it, they call it a jacuzzi, but it's just really a tub outside. And a washing station. So if you know the name of the hotel or Airbnb condominium, you know where we're at. But like I said, security reasons, we will not list the name of the condo until probably Saturday, Sunday. Here is the walkway of the Airbnb that's going to lead up to the stairs. No, there is. I have not seen any type of whew, lovely, beautiful little lighting. There is not a elevator here, so no. <laughs> You cannot <sighs> go up an elevator. Gosh dang. Alright, one flight of stairs up. Beautiful. We're on the first floor, which is the considered the second floor, but again, for security reasons, we will not release the name the number 
on this particular condo until we leave I'm gonna give the Karen review again for security purposes we are not showing the name of the room there is a locked door down here as well as a key fob here and a key here thing here oh crap hit the door what? <sighs> again all right so our large island here as well as our living space that couch is comfy af and i am a girl who is very particular about couches um electric cooktop and i'll go through the cabinets very quickly we have pots and pans and we have no plans of eating dinner here but we are eating breakfast all of the utensils that are available again when i give the full karen review on saturday sunday i will disclose the room number but until then i will not all right so two small stools here two larger stools here that provides for at least four people this is i think it's labeled as being able to um, house at least three people comfortably possibly four but you know follow the rules here it is Airbnb, this is someone's livelihood. You do get a washer dryer combo. We purchased this ourselves as well as bringing pods with us. I selected this in particular because one, I knew that we would need our clothes at least washed because of the length of our stay. All right, so you have a microwave, an espresso, a toaster, as well as a French press and kettle. We opted to get the coffee instant, and then they also provide water for you. I don't know if that's always gonna be the case, but it is the case today. We do have blenders. And then, um, like we said on the grocery store, you're gonna have to purchase those bags, but those are gonna come in handy if you end up staying here a little bit longer. Um, word to the wise, like my husband, he loves sugar in his coffee. They also don't sell creamer here. Um, milk and eggs are not refrigerated. So if you've never been in this area, that's something that you'll have to look for in the non-refrigerated section. Blew my mind the first time we were here. Um, has all of your plates, saucers, and bowls here, as well as cups, pitchers, glasses, wine glasses which we're going to use and then here is the air conditioning unit that is in the kitchen slash living area and then of course the pastries my husband loves those and then the knives for use as well as the wine that we picked up from the mercado <laughs> here's the room all right, so, so as my husband just said, there's no TV in the living room, because he's a diva. Um, the way this was laid out on Airbnb was the TV is here, but clearly you can turn it around. It can either go here or it can go there. You can move it, and this is a movable partition so that you can have privacy. There are two big ass dressers here, which we are going to use very, very much because we have three things of luggage, plus over here, detailed instructions. If you do, if you live in a society where you must have a fan to sleep, um, picked up this little bad boy for about $25. Yes, it's overpriced. Yes, it's necessary. Yes, I bought, purchased a smaller fan from Amazon that is supposed to run for so long and it only runs for 30 minutes, so good investment we'll leave it for the last person when we land in Cancun next week we have security boxes more areas for storage that's a positive I'm not sure how to play backgammon but I guess Cody and I are about to figure it out um, that is our stuff extra blankets lots of storage here and then the bathroom they do give you a hair dryer so that is a positive because nobody wants to bring a clunky hair dryer with them on vacation. Toilet as well as the shower. So we will vlog our dinner, the bed. Feels a hell of a lot softer than the one that we stayed in when we were in Akamal last night. And then more air, con air conditioning, plus a beautiful ceiling fan.
So we also have, oh wow, okay, he is correct. He said maybe it's two layers. These are definitely blackout shades and they are desperately needed, especially for us because I fully fucking intend on sleeping in tomorrow morning. We have a balcony I'll show you in just a sec. We have a hammock out here as well as the balcony that leads into our bedroom as well as a balcony that wraps around to the road again not disclosing the area oh hello hi fine sir and this is our plunge pool which will get utilized i don't know if not tonight i fully intend on hitting i fully intend on hitting the pool after our wine gets chilled so um, they do label it as a jacuzzi, but it is, in fact, what they call a plunge pool here in Tulum. So, don't get your feelings hurt. Um, it may circulate the water like a jacuzzi, but I don't believe it's going to get extra hot. And it is hot out here, so why would you want to sit in a fucking cesspool? But, I'm not sure what's around us quite yet. But here is the aerial view of the room from the plunge pool. Very nice, very nice. I'll disclose the price after the Karen review. Of course, that may change due to circumstance and or time of the season, but we are here for the first week of December.